President Putin under increasing pressure on multiple fronts, militarily, with his forces facing unexpectedly stiff resistance in Ukraine. Politically, with protests across Russia and thousands of arrests. And economically, the Russian ruble falling to a record low. The Russian stock market suspended all week with fears it could crash. The Russian leader growing increasingly frustrated and, according to U.S. officials, is lashing out and isolated, meeting with his bankers and finance ministers at a distance. Even his military chiefs are not allowed too close. When dictators hold on for too long, they overreach, they get disconnected from reality, they don't listen to their advisors. That's exactly what's going on here. Senator Marco Rubio, who sits on the Intelligence Committee, tweeting, it's pretty obvious to many that something is off with Putin. He's always been a killer, but his problem now is different and significant. And there are early signs of panic among his people, with lines at banks. Outside a mall, a line of cabs. Drivers telling me business collapsed a week ago. Inside, we find another line at an ATM, many hoping to withdraw dollars or euros. We meet musicians, Marina, who lived in Boston for six years, and Natalie. So, Everyone's scared now. My husband was trying to buy foreign currency yesterday. He didn't get a chance to do that. Couldn't get any? No. Caught between Russian government crackdowns and sanctions. They're already shutting down the Facebook. Everybody's talking about Instagram being shutting down, shut down. And they fear a new iron curtain between Russia and the West. I don't know uh, how can I get my visa. And this morning, indications of concern among the oligarchs who surround President Putin. Billionaires known for yachts, private jets and mansions. A spokesperson for Roman Abramovich, estimated by Forbes to be worth $13 billion and who owns Britain's Chelsea Football Club, saying he's now involved in peace negotiations. And we should note, uh, Hoda, that Russia still is making hundreds of millions of dollars a day in oil and gas. As we know, Europe nervous to not have that oil and gas uh, cut off. But the people we spoke to here telling us they can no longer use Google Pay and Apple Pay. It may seem like a small thing compared with that huge amount of money Russia makes from oil and gas, but it's having a real impact on people's lives. The question is, is President Putin even listening, Hoda? Mm. All right, Keir Simmons Force in Moscow. Keir, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.